Okay, we're going to use Onshape to draw our pencil box. So first up, I'm going to show you around a little bit. Uh, there's a few things uh, I'd like to point out to you. So firstly, are the colours. Obviously, you can see the movement of my mouse. It should be a yellowy sort of colour moving around. If I left click, which is the normal click, uh, left click starts with L, uh, so I chose lilac. So you should see that purpley sort of colour. Uh, if I right click, if I right click, you should see uh, right starts with R, so of course it's red. And middle click, oh, I didn't know any colours that start with M, so I thought maybe mint green. So you should see a green colour if I click the, the middle button. Uh, as I type, which I will do now by searching for, so I'm going to type on shape, you should see that text come up. When I press enter on the keyboard, I think it says return there. So I'd like you guys to go to on shape and sign in. So you should have already created your account and set it all up and it should be ready to go. And if you haven't, go back and watch the first video and get it all set and ready to go. So we're going to sign in. And uh, I am just going to open up, for now, I'm going to open up an existing uh, design that I've done. So yours will be empty on this page because you've done no designs yet. As you can see, I've done a lot. Uh, and eventually, all your designs will appear here. You can create folders, etc. So I just want to show you around and get you used to a few commands. So I'll open this shape. Now, the scroll wheel uh, allows me to zoom. And if I hold down the middle click button, it will allow me to pan so I can move the shape up and down and across. If I hold down shift and middle click, it allows me to orbit so I can move the shape all around. And sometimes orbit can be a little bit weird and you can get yourself lost. And if I hold down shift and alt on the keyboard at the same time with the middle click, it tends to orbit a little bit better. Now over here, maybe you've noticed as you are moving this thing around, this little cube moves as well. And what this allows you to do so you can change the view by clicking various parts of this. So if I click an edge, for instance, uh, no, sorry, a face or a corner, I can change the view. If I can, if I click the arrows, I can change the view. So uh, obviously, and this thing's moving, movable as well. So you can move that wherever you like. Now, if you get yourself lost, maybe you're way too zoomed in, you can't see your shape anymore. Uh, what we can do is if we click this little view box, this down arrow, and click back to trimetric, or actually any of those, isometric, diametric, or trimetric, I always like trimetric, it'll bring you back to the home view where you can see your shape again. Up along the top here, we've got toolbars. Now my screen's quite big, I'm lucky I have a quite a big screen. Uh, and all my tools are nicely spread out. If, for instance, you have a smaller screen, so I'm adjusting my screen now, my tools get compressed. So later on, if I'm uh, telling you to look for a certain tool and I click along the top, you may not see it in the same place. So what you actually have to do is look in these down arrows to find the correct tools. So that's important to know that. Uh, I'm going to maximize my screen again. There you go, my tools will spread out again. Over here, we've got our timeline. So as we draw things uh, and as we do operations, they'll, this will fill up and just move down the page. The other thing that we will use frequently is uh, we turn things on and off. So. There's view planes, they'll automatically, when you start a document, they'll automatically be on. 
So often we just turn those off because they can look a bit confusing in there. Sometimes we use them, sometimes we turn them off. Um, and same things with the operations. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry, some of the operations we can turn on and off. And we'll use that from time to time. Parts will be listed down here. If we draw multiple parts on one page, they'll be listed here. The other thing that we will start to do is use these tabs down the bottom. So we can create new parts on a new tab. And uh, we will use that. They can be renamed, they can be deleted. So be careful that you're not deleting uh, something important that you want. I'm going to delete that one because I don't need that. I had to double check. Um, for now, that will do. Uh, the next video will get started with our drawing.